to the Fight UK MMA Amateur Championship so we're, we're in Leicestershire. Uh, we've got our first bout about to get underway. A middleweight contest for uh, 84 kilos, an amateur fight between John Robinson from Combat and Exercise and Joe Davis from Burton Grindhouse. And straight out and into the clinch here. Both looking to instigate a clinch, no striking at all. John Robinson with the Union Jack shorts on. Jockeying for the position here. These amateur fights, um, they do favour the, the wrestle and the grapple, don't they, Dave? Yeah, amateur fights, of course, three three minute rounds with no headshots standing or on the ground. Expect to see quite a lot of grappling in these fights, and uh, he gets the single leg there. Secures the single leg. It looks like Joe's is going to try and uh, stand up from that. John needs to get those hips out and control them to the centre, that which does he does nicely. Very similar to a submission wrestling match in the um, with body shots. On his, he's got the back here standing. Can he keep hold of it? Well, it is taken down, and now we see uh, Joe in top position. Now it'll be interesting to see now if Joe looks to uh, pass the guard or strike from here. Like we said before, he can't strike head on foot on. Straight away looking for a submission there off his back. Good attempt. Mm -hmm. And the back to the feet. And he had a punch in there to, to the body. John again working for that single leg. That's quite a strong with his takedowns, John, isn't it? Yeah, he looks to favour the single leg on either side. Not much defence from the single leg from Joe. Um, he needs to use that cage more to stand up. It's will be quite tiring for him trying to stand up from this position too. Good wrist control there from John. But he's back to his feet, Joe's back to his feet. Now let's see if uh, John's going to go for another takedown. What should Joe be doing here, Andy? Well, uh, not that. <laughs> Yeah, he should, should be uh, get, uh, pushing to get stuff back up all the time, or looking to gain top position, in my opinion. We have John there, uh, transitioning to mount. Straight away looking for a, a key lock from Mount. Now, it's not a submission that I would go for. It's better now, he's, uh, looks like he's going to attempt an arm bar. There's a 10 second uh, ball, that's the end of the round there. How would you score that round, Andy? I think uh, John took that round uh, quite easily. I think Joe was uh, pushing to stay stood up and defending a lot of the time. Yeah, definitely with the uh, 
with the takedowns and ground position, I think John took that round. This fight's are over. What do you think they'll be saying in the corner to uh, Joe between rounds, Dave? I think um, the corner needs to be telling Joe when uh, from those single legs he needs to be defending. He needs to be using his legs, uh, hooking the leg and controlling the head, pushing the head down to prevent the single leg takedowns. Maybe getting an underhook and reversing and turning him into the cage. It's the, take it's the takedowns that are winning this fight for John. Joe definitely looks more tired of the two coming out for the second round. Yeah, he was working hard to stand back up from the takedowns. That does put a lot of tire, a lot of. John looks uh, nice and relaxed, ready to come out for this round. I think John will be looking for more of the same this round. It's quite different to the pro rules uh, fights in. The way that they walk in with the hands down, ready to throw body shots, isn't it? Dave? Yeah. To be honest, I think it, it can get you into bad habits. It can get you into bad habits. That style of uh, of just walking down your opponent, even though the shots aren't coming, in, it would be better to control the distancing. Now, yet again, single leg take on there. Joe needs to be controlling the head and trying to stand back up, get his hips into the cage using the cage to stand back up if you can get a hand over the top of the head John controlling the hips quite well transitioning again into mount quite easily, not much resistance there from Joe I think John look, definitely looks a more competent fighter on the ground yeah and I think his confidence is growing as this is we might see a submission attack here for this arm bar here yeah and that's nice slow control, he's not rushing this either He's slowly looking for the position, he's uh, controlling the arms, not taking, he's taking his time. Joe should really be bridging here and looking to roll him off. He should be non-stop bridging to escape. There's no use just lying there. Switch to S-mark there from John. He's really looking for that left, for that right arm. Yeah, he's taking it. Maybe set off a bit too early. He could still secure this. Joe defending with the uh, by hooking the arm, but this is only a matter of time. I think he's got this. Good yeah. chance of the tap. Yeah, that was good work by John there. John Robinson, good win for him. Yeah, he controlled the fight throughout. Got the takedowns. Good control on the floor and finished with um, a nicely secured armbar.